Hi, everybody. Welcome to After the Checker Flag on Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Ralph Sheen with Ricky Carmichael and Jeff Emig here in the Georgia Dome in Atlanta. And controversy was the theme of the night here. Michael Lessie and Brock Tickle. Team owner for Brock Tickle means I'll talk to this one first about it. All right, what'd you think? Did he, any excuses at all for Michael Lessie on this one? Well, he tried when he spoke with our Jenny Taft uh, uh, just before the semi, but uh, the SX Mo camera, it doesn't lie. We, we saw everything. We had multiple shots. Our camera guys here on Fox Sports had it dialed in. Alessi goes in and just drops the clutch and hits the throttle when he really had no need to. Uh, Tickle had made the pass. Um, I have a feeling that uh, Mike Alessi is going to spend some time in the AMA official trailer here tonight after this race. I know you are the team owner for Brock Tickle, but I know you can be objective about this. Honestly, what would you think? Well, I, got, I, I, I think I was a little little too nice because I didn't want to seem biased because everyone would think that I would be biased but regardless it's just poor decision making and for sure I mean for a heat race I mean come on you don't do stuff like that and I mean it wasn't a takeout that was a t-bone move and you know it uh, I think it just shows you why someone like Michael Lessi hasn't lived up to his uh, true potential throughout his career I mean he was supposed to be racing with the likes of Ryan Villapoto and uh, it all comes down to decision making and uh, he's made some poor ones along his career whether it be on the racetrack uh, I can't I don't know anything about off the racetrack but certainly on the on, on the motocross track he has made extremely poor decisions not just tonight but before so that was another fine example of it and uh, you get uh, you get what you deserve uh, I'm glad that no one was hurt especially my rider um, it was disappointing because he was having a great day. I mean, best practices that, that he's had. He came back in the qualifying position and that, that happened. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, you know what, it, uh, we move on to the next one. And I just hope that AMA does something and uh, with that move. You know, a slap on the hand isn't going to get the job done. Um, it needs to be a little more. I, I say they get. In, I, they got to start getting in people's wallets so they'll have some respect for the AMA. It's That's, a move that would be pretty hard to defend, so I don't think yeah. anybody's going to blame you for that. But let's spin it forward now and talk a little bit about this championship fight because Roxon gets the win tonight. He's got two. He closes into single digits in the championship fight. Roxon had an outstanding night, and, and uh, he told us throughout the night, throughout the day, that he wasn't really feeling well. Uh, but it's interesting that a track like this tonight, you needed to be real precise, right? As we got deep into that main event, our race call, we're going, wow, look how smooth he is. He's hitting all of his marks just perfectly. And it was the other riders, Villapoto, Stewart, that made mistakes. And uh, Roxon just kind of, you know, held his line there. So it was really impressive, and that's going to be a, a huge confidence booster for the German rider. Lucas Oil Stadium. That's next up from Indianapolis. You'll see it next week live on Fox Sports 1. Make sure you join us from there.